Super Tuesday, folks. Sergeant B, back here with opinions of an SOB. Now, I know Steven said that we were done doing videos, but you know what? I'm contracted to do 25 opinion videos, and I'm going to get my 25 opinion video. Now, later tonight, when the uh, Super Tuesday results come in, I'm going to give you my opinions on them. But right now, we're going to take things back and look at all the other caucuses and primaries that have already happened. I'm going to give you my opinions on them real quick here. Alright, so let's just start things with the state we're in right now in the Iowa caucus. What's my opinion on the 2020 Iowa caucus? What a shit show! It took them a week! to get the result. Why? Everyone already knows who voted for who. It's an open process. People go there like a town meeting and they say, hey, I'm going to vote for Sanders or I'm going to vote for Biden. And they go off into their little count order and then they count it and everyone sees the count. Why did it take them a fucking week to get those results? That's just a bunch of bullshit. I'm, I'm going to call shenanigans on it and say that someone directly sabotaged the Iowa caucus. Now, some people have said this uh, happened because they wanted to give uh, Pete Buttigieg uh, an arm up, saying, hey, Pete Buttigieg, you won the Iowa caucus. As far as we know, we, we got 60% of the people uh, reporting in, and it looks like Pete Buttigieg won. I don't believe that, because in the end, Pete Buttigieg, I think he won the Iowa caucus, just not by much. I think the real reason they sabotage the Iowa caucus is to get rid of the Iowa caucus. Or at the very least to make sure that the Iowa caucus isn't going to be the first caucus in uh, future primary caucus elections. Um, I think that uh, the reason this is is that uh, Iowa they just got too smart for the Democratic Party. You know, it's sort of like uh, every four years these guys come in here wanting to run for president and they look at the Iowans like they're a bunch of schmucks at a carnival. And uh, now, the Marks, the Iowans, they, they've caught on to the games that these um, Democrats are playing on them. So the Democrats, are, they're going to want to move their uh, carnival somewhere else. Somewhere where they have fresh, stupid Marks. Probably Florida. So to make that happen, they had to make the Iowans look stupid. So they sabotaged the Iowa caucus. So everyone's against the island saying, hey, look at those morons. They couldn't wipe their ass and do jumping jacks at the same time. I could go on and on about this. Let's just move on to the, the uh, New Hampshire primary. So I'm always confused New Hampshire with uh, Vermont, seeing how they're right next to each other and they're shaped basically the same way, just inverted. So I don't think it's any surprise that Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders won that. I just think that he had uh, the neighborly advantage, if it were. He's from Vermont, this is New Hampshire, they end up voting for their neighbor. No big deal. Now we get Nevada. Another uh, win for Bernie Sanders, and I think this is saying a lot. You know, Nevada, that's casinos. You know, Reno and Las Vegas. So obviously these people know a good gamble when they see it, and they put their money on Bernie Sanders. They think that he is a sure bet, and I think we should all uh, pay attention to that. Oh, South Carolina, you had to go and fuck things over, voting for that senile old shit Joe Biden. Oh, God. Why? I mean, are you really that excited about moderation? Who the hell is excited about moderation? But that's why they're going with Biden, because he's a moderate Democrat. Ugh. Come on! Let's... Let's gamble here. Let's throw the dice. Let's go with Sanders. Are you going to tell me that uh, universal health care for everyone is a bad idea when you got the coronavirus going around? There's a lot of people who aren't going to the doctor despite the fact that they are sick. And they might just have the coronavirus. And they're not going to do it because they ain't got the money to pay for the doctor's bills. And they can't uh, lose a day of work. So they're going to just keep going around with the coronavirus in them, not getting checked. So maybe universal health care would help that situation. Just saying. And, I mean, let's just look at Biden versus Trump. 
Biden he just has too many fucking liabilities. I mean, he's not Trump, but he's not that far from it. You want to talk about Trump's a racist? Joe Biden voted against desegregating the busing. And he's talked about how he liked to hang out and work with segregationists. He was proud of that. And he kicked corn pop out of the pool. I'm not saying, well, I, I am saying, I think he's a closet racist. I mean, he couldn't be waving around the uh, Confederate flag there in Delaware if he wanted to get himself elected. So he's got to put on this, you know, image of him being for, you know, desegregating things when his record shows, eh, he wasn't, he wasn't all that big of a fan. And, you know, let's look at something else. Uh, you want to say how Trump's a creepy guy and, you know, sexually harasses women? Fucking Joe Biden with the fucking unwanted fucking back rub. Jesus fucking Christ. Biden's a fucking liability. So uh, I could go on about that. I'm just going to digress. Like I said, uh, today I'm just going to focus on the uh, Super Tuesday. And I'll be giving you my thoughts on those results later tonight.